Ballpoint pens are not just to fill in our text forms, you can also sketch with them. Okay, we have the cheap fine liners, less cheap ones, we have the well known ones, we have the branded ones, we have the expensive ones, and we have also like very soft brush tips. And all of these are scary. So that is why I want to start with a simple ballpoint pen today. Because I keep on saying that it is important to draw with uh, fine liners. Well, the important thing is to draw with something that you can't erase, so you get used to your mistake. So that's why today I'm just gonna take a fine line, well, not a fine line, a ballpoint pen, because all of you are familiar with uh, ballpoint pens. And why do I like ballpoint pens? Is because you can go very soft with them, so I can do very soft lines, just barely touching it, and then I can apply more and more and more pressure, and I can get a really nice and thick line. So basically this gives you the nice in-between ground between you have your pencils and you have your fine liners and then if you have a line this would be the ballpoint pen with a little ball in there. Hey folks, sponsorship Robert here. Do you want to see me do one of my drawings from start to finish going through sketching, line art, values and coloring phases in over four hours of video that you can slow down and pause whenever you want? How about having access to the Photoshop file? You can get all of this from my Gumroad. Check out the link to my Gumroad in the description down below. Now back to the video. All right, and before we jump into more drawing examples, let me just quickly address two things. One, the finger, nothing happened to my finger. It's just I am uh, also working in a side job as the test dummy for my girlfriend's nail art. So <laughs> she uses my fingers for tests. So it's all good. And uh, two, I know it's blurry. After the third thumbnail sketch, I realized that the focus wasn't correct, so it's gonna fix itself within a couple of minutes. So just stick in there with me for a second. But yeah, okay, let's talk about uh, sketching with a ballpoint pen. And I particularly wanted to talk about this because I had a talk in our Discord group with a couple of guys and some people are still afraid of using uh, fine liners because yeah they are very permanent so you, you do those lines and they will stay there and the more you use them the more you get used to that fact as well but I feel like a good entry to slow the transition to, to fine liners are ballpoint pens because we're all used to ballpoint pens everybody had them in school you already maybe sketched with them in school when you were a little bit bored so it's like a really nice transition to something that is somewhat permanent well not somewhat it actually is permanent the good thing about the ballpoint pen as i talked about in the beginning of the video is that you can do these really thin lines as well and just just do some exploration so as you can see me doing here as well i i quickly built that cage well more like a, a 3d cube around my robot and start sketching and i'm not worried at all of course i'm not worried because i'm used to drawing with fine liners but i don't think you will be worried either because you can do these really thin lines and it will be really almost like just a, a pencil sketch and as soon as you start coming in with uh, uh, darker lines it will have more of a shape and it will not look as sketchy and the sketchiness also is actually nice to it and as, as you can already start seeing here i bring in a couple of, of stronger lines here and there where i want to make sure that the shape reads a little bit better and just in general ballpoint pen i find is, is a really nice thing to to start exploring and sketching with uh, just because also so i have this mm, issue with pencil that i do smudge it quite often and ballpoint pen is is a little bit smudgeable but far from what uh, what happens to to a pencil drawing so yeah it's it, it can definitely give you really nice results another thing is because of this softness is also that you can have really nice transitions so you can you can do the cross hatching and then go into a, a I want to say a value change almost. You have these fade-ins and fade-outs that you can't really do with a fine liner. You can do it by just having more and more or less and less distance between each line. But here you can also do the, the really soft touch and then going str 
stronger and stronger. So you will have this really nice uh, value change and uh, transition. And yeah, you can work in any way you would like to work. You can do the whole industrial design, just do a whole uh, bunch of straight lines and, and store, sl slowly start building. Or I think you will see me doing it. I already started, with, especially with, with the next Mac. I just I just start scribbling. And, and as I scribble those shapes down very, very softly, I start discovering things that I like. and and. I start strengthening those lines. For example, here I was I was going along with this sort of animalistic legged robot. So it's four legged, but it's it's almost like an, an animal a little bit. And I was trying to go with okay, so strong hind legs and like somewhat weaker front legs. But I felt like I sort of did that already. So I thought like, oh, let me let me maybe go the other way. Let me try something like a gorilla who has like really strong forearms and much uh, weaker and smaller uh, back legs, <laughs> uh, back arms. No, there is no such thing. But to come to the point here is basically you get almost the pencil's versatility in a finite medium. Uh, that's that's what I really like about the ballpoint pen. Just this really easy. What what I do with a the pencil, these these super sketchy lines, and then making them stronger and stronger, and 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 showing what I actually want to talk about, bringing those shapes a little bit more to the foreground by adding just more lines and making it stronger. And obviously, you can't really do that with a fine liner because you do have to have a bit of a more of an idea of what you're uh, drawing. You don't have this freedom of just, uh, let me just put down lines and then start scribbling because sooner or later you will end up with a whole bunch of lines, just as you could see in my previous week's, what was it, uh, live sketching uh, video, uh, which is okay if you don't mind that sort of uh, style, but not not everybody likes that. Uh, and that's, that's why I, I recommend, especially if you're not quite comfortable yet, with uh, the fine liners, uh, ballpoint pen is really a nice alternative for that. And also what is quite nice about it is that it has color to it. Of course, there's also ballpoint pens with uh, that are black, but there's also quite a couple of colored ones. But in general, you get, you get the, the, the blue one. And it just gives this nice effect of already having a, a certain tone on the paper, having a, a color on it, just, just like uh, we like to draw on, on brown paper because it's you can add a bit of white and you already have a nice gradient and and uh, and the values. The having a, a blue on on white paper just adds a certain extra charm. It's always interesting to see that people react quite differently and with more enthusiasm towards a ballpoint pen sketch than just a, a regular fine liner sketch. Uh, but yeah, just to talk a little bit about what also what I'm drawing here, since it's still March of Robots, I decided to go, go ahead and have some fun with more robots because I do love robots and I promise after this month is over we're also going to do other stuff, not just robots, but just indulge me. I guess this is the maybe the last week. Even if it is not the last week, probably next Monday we're gonna do something else. So yeah, indulge me a little bit. Uh, but the point was, I just wanted to do something uh, animalistic robot, as I said. So I ended up with this sort of gorilla police military robot that has uh, armor plating on its front upper arms and shoulder area and has sort of a gun for a head. And I wanted to do something different. I wanted to draw it from the, the back view because usually I always draw robots from the front and I don't always turn them around because I just like to go on with my ideas and just uh, pop out something new. So I thought, okay, let me just totally do this from, from the back. And it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, challenge as well because you're used to communicating things from the front. So maybe people might not understand that it's from the back, but uh, yeah, I, I hope it does come over because this, it was quite a fun sketch and I did have a lot of fun. Uh, I do forget to sketch with uh, ballpoint pen every now and then, well, not every now and then, but I, I don't sketch as much as I maybe should, just because I do a lot of my work digitally. And uh, yeah, industrial design just uh, trained me to use uh, fine liners, but it is always fun to just come back to a ballpoint pen and have a little bit uh, of uh, fun with it. But yeah, for the, for the rest of the video, just enjoy me sketching this 
weird looking gorilla robot thing and then I'll see you at the end of the video.
and welcome to the end of the video. Thank you for staying here. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I am curious what you have to say. Please leave a message if you liked this video or if you disliked it. I'm curious what you disliked about it. Or if you feel like, okay, enough with robots, then please let me, let me, <laughs> leave me a message of what you think I should draw next or what you would like to learn next. I always try to listen to you guys and to implement it as soon as possible. Uh, you can also subscribe for more similar content if you'd like to learn more. And if you want, you can also support me. I have a Gumroad link down in the description below. Uh, see, maybe you find something that's worthwhile your investment over there. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great week and see you next time. Bye bye.